Welcome back everyone. Today I have an unboxing for you. It's for the month of September for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. And let's get on with the unboxing. I should also add that the theme for September is The Modern Man. And you can get all the products that I'll be showing you from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. And they will be at reduced prices for the month of September. This is one of my chosen core products. And it's a gorgeous stamp set. It is from Kaiser Craft. And as you can see, it also comes with a die set. It's the DIY Cuts from Kaiser Craft. These ones I called Be Brave, and I thought that I might make a layout about my son, because uh, it had lots of lovely savings for, for my wonderful boy, and I just thought that maybe down the line, that's what I would do with this stamp set. My next chosen core product is this uh, stencil. It's a mini designer template from Kaiser Craft. It's called Rough Crude, and I just thought that that had a nice... It would make some nice male layouts since that seems to be the theme for September. And then another one of my products is this gorgeous die set. It um, says wishing you smooth sailing, ahoy. And I got that because if I do a layout about my husband, he loves being out on his boat and he loves boating and so does his father. And I just thought that might be a nice theme to do. Maybe a layout of my husband and his dad and maybe my son loves boating as well so has a lot of potential but as you know I have no idea what I'm going to do yet so I cannot wait to see what I myself will be doing with these products. I picked some colours from the Distress Oxide sprays I haven't tried these yet so that's going to be fun this one is dried marigold and it's like a sort of peachy colour then I picked a cracked pistachio. I know I do love that colour in all the other distress inks that I have and this one here is called Victorian Velvet. So I thought that might make a little bit of a contrast to all the blue that's happening in the papers but we'll have to wait and see what I choose to do with them. The core cool products for the month of September does include some cardstock so that's always good to have and these of course will coordinate with the chosen core papers for the month. The papers are from Courtier Creations and the collection is actually called A Gentleman's Emporium and they're absolutely stunning papers very very male orientated and when I was looking at these papers I immediately started thinking of my family heritage and of my grandfather so you will soon be seeing some unusual layouts from me. So this is the first one. I absolutely love this paper. It's the, it's the 12A paper, Sentiment Supporting Collection, as you can see. And it's got some, I don't know if you could call them cut aparts, but yeah, they were all about the era in 1897. And I just thought that they're absolutely stunning. So I'm excited to see what I do with this layout. So I'm just going to be showing you the side A and side B because lucky for us um, Auntie Vera included two sheets of each paper so that we've got both sides to work with and as you know that's something that I love to do. This is the next paper and I'm just taking out the two and I should be turning it around and yes that's the other side. So that's got this other one, the, other, the first paper had whiskers, this one's got more bicycles and more of a, a fashion look for it and some celery biscuits and recipes. So yeah, so the theme is, um, I guess it's, well, it's a gentleman's emporium, but it also seems to be an old world theme as well, which I quite like. And the colors are absolutely stunning. And I love that it says, be strong, be gentle, be humble. So there's a lot you can do with these papers and I've got all these ideas running in my head. So it'll be interesting to see which way I go when I finally sit down to scrap. And then there's this one here, which has got all these um, cut out, cutouts and love that. And the other side's got all these gorgeous pocket watches or are they gear boxes? I cannot remember. I think they're pocket watches. My gosh, but love both sides. Not sure what I'll do with them, but I'm sure something will come to mind. And look at those gorgeous cutouts. Wow, love them all. This is the next paper in the range and I, I love the contrast in these two colours. So that's the, I think that's the back side, side B. No, that might see be side A. So that was side A, this is side B. And so I like that side A is actually quite 
strong colours and then side B has got these subtle sort of beigey colours. And also it's got lots of old world emblems. Love it, love it, love it. But you know what, I usually love any, anything that Auntie Virus um, puts together for us. And this one here with the moustaches and it's sort of like a, a plaid paper and the other side has got this it's sort of the this one's very greeny and platty yeah like that's a word and I love the actual other side which contrasts nicely with the blues and the beige undertones and all that old world emblems and everything so yes oh my mind is spinning with ideas and I love this paper here it's got all these little I guess if you had um Anyone in your family, any males that love playing cards, that's a great paper to use. And the other side of it has got these sort of greys and light blues. And it's got that gorgeous pocket watch, which I know I will be fussing cut fussy cutting that out and doing something with it because I love that pocket watch. So this, this paper, I must admit, the one with all the card um, spades or whatever they're called, has got me stumped, but... I'm sure something will come to mind and then look at this one here I love the that one side has got this gorgeous bright greens and then the other side has got the soft beiges and the soft greens running through it and those lovely um, watches with the Roman numerals on it so everything about it I know I keep saying it's gorgeous, but honestly, uh, I'm in love with this collection and I think it's going to get me out of my comfort zone and make me do some layouts that are a little bit different to what I'm used to. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. And then there's this paper here, another one that of course I love. And I was trying to work out which way this is the orientation, but I, I think this is the orientation of the paper. And that's the other side. So they're going more into the brown colours, brown and beiges. And this one here, what's this one? That's going, still going with the greys and the light blues and stunning. I hope you're liking these papers as much as I am. And yes, it'll be interesting to see where this takes me. Where, what, what adventures am I going to have with my scrapping this month? That's what I would like to know. So I think that's the end of all the papers and let's see what I create for this month till, till my first creation for the month of September. I will see you all soon. I almost forgot I did a little bit, a little bit of shopping myself and I got these gorgeous prima flowers. They're a lovely deep blue colour. Absolutely love them. And I also picked up these other prima flowers and there's some black flowers, some beige colored flowers or cream yeah they're beige color for me maybe peachy maybe a peachy color and look at these ones here they're also from prima and they're just some metal trinkets absolutely love them and Vera being the darling that she is she added some washi tapes to the mixture so there's the gorgeous blue one it's that one there with the flowers and absolutely love that washi tape i think that's become my favorite one the next washi, washi tape's got uh, these gorgeous golden pineapples on it. So, yes, I love the colour and I think that will go well with the collection for the month of September. And then this gorgeous colourful one with all the love hearts.